Hello everyone, welcome to a short video. Today we will see how we can create a session in mobile XTERM so that we could directly connect to our washing machines from the terminal. For this, I would take you first to the virtual machine settings. Uh, if I go to settings and I take you to the network settings, we already have port forwarding configured in this format. If you would like how to set up the port forwarding, uh, you could visit to the video in the description in which we discuss this in detail. Uh, so now let's see how I generally use to connect to this remote server so I give something like this with port 222 so this is how I generally connect with the servers and uh, get the access now this is one way of doing it what we could also do is have an SSH connection over here where we give the remote host IP I specify a user saying Ubuntu and then I give a port number 2222 and click on OK. So it would ask me for the password and I get connected. Now next time when I log in or open mobile X term for the first time, I would be prompted with this start a local session or I could anyways double click on this icon in the left side corner and get the console straight away so this actually saves some amount of time wherein we could take the reboot session of our virtual machine now if your virtual machine is for some reason powered off and uh, you are trying to initiate a session again you would be looking at this error so you could always uh, hit on r to restart the session or else uh, you could click on s to save it but uh, if you are facing this error, uh, the possible reason is that your virtual machine is uh, not running at the moment and as soon as it runs, uh, you could hit R again and this should give you the prompt. So as you see, uh, it's, it, it did ask me for the password and I have given in the details. On the left hand side, we also see the directories that are already present in the uh, server so this is my git repository where I am like uh, doing some terraform and terraform related operations this is how you navigate it if you want to go one step back this is how you will do it uh, and uh, this is how you would also open it or you could open this with a default text editor you could change whatever you want to change here and uh, you could just uh, save it and this would actually save it in the remote uh, server itself. Uh, yes, and I will say yes uh, to all. And that is it. So this has this has given me a permission denied error. Now this is actually happening because uh, the CD. Now this is giving me an error because uh, the permissions on the files as root so I could uh, maybe do a chowm ubuntu ubuntu for cpd07 then I can do a hyphen r change it cursively now I'm not allowed to do it so I'll go click on the sudo user and then do the same ch o w n hyphen r ubuntu ubuntu cpp 07 now if i try to modify the same file and i click on save save so this should actually save the file this time because I was able to modify the permissions and if I do a cat for VPC 
cat for cpp07 vpc terra front of hcl you see that the file has been modified so this is how you could also modify the remote files using baba extern or else the obvious option is to do vi on the file and you could all always edit it from the vim editor or the vi editor that's it for this video thank you so much for watching have a great time